I was lying down with a plaster cast while watching my husband tenderly say goodbye to his mistress. In the afternoon, Michael texted me that he wanted a divorce. But I firmly decided that I wouldn't let him do it. Amanda, what's wrong with you? I told him that when I read his cruel message, I fainted, and that now I was stuck with a plaster cast. Michael felt guilty and forgot all about the divorce. The next day, Michael went back to his mistress empty-handed, without my signature on the divorce papers. She slept him and I was over the moon. After that, I removed the cast and went to the gym. I came up with the whole story just so I could buy some time. My plan was to lose weight while Michael thought I was sick. Then, after I became fit, Michael would finally understand that he couldn't leave me and everything would be like it was before. My coach told me not to overdo it. Amanda, you're not in great shape. Don't go hard right off the bat. That cute guy didn't realize how little time I had. So I literally crawled home, exhausted. All of a sudden, Michael returned earlier than usual with bags full of groceries. His mistress wasn't happy. And I hadn't even started yet. That evening, I believed that Michael and I could bring the past back to life. Falling asleep, I told my husband that the plaster cast was not a hindrance, just in case he wanted to do something naughty. However, Michael didn't say anything. He just turned and started snoring. While dreaming, he kept saying my name. Amanda, Amanda, let me go, Amanda. That was just a wake-up call before what would happen the next morning. Michael woke up before me, packed his things, and said that he could no longer live with someone he didn't love. Martha wants me to move in with her and thinks you are manipulating me. Manipulation? How about that? Of course you can go. I only ask for one phone call. I said that it was in case I fell down the stairs again and broke my neck. I have no one else to call. I dedicated the last 10 years to you. I knew Michael and was sure that he wouldn't be against it. Down in the mouth, he approached his mistress and told her that he would visit me twice a week. She didn't like that at all. The mistress got his suitcase out of the trunk and called Michael weak before leaving. I realized that soon everything would fall into place with my husband. I couldn't even dream of such an easy victory. I had enough time to strike the finishing blow to make Michael's jaw drop when he laid eyes on me. After all, I was being admired by men every single day and kept being complimented by my coach. My plan worked. Michael stood by my side until I made a full recovery. In order to celebrate the occasion, I prepared a special dinner 
and appeared in all of my glory. Yet, Michael didn't appreciate it. Suddenly, it dawned on me. He had always been like that. Stingy on giving compliments and paying attention to me. I wanted our life to be as it was before. But I was no longer satisfied by it. I decided to let go of the past and surrounded myself with people who cared about me. People who didn't see me as just part of the decoration. It worked, and I finally became happy after coming to that realization. I watched my brother seduce a pretty girl, only to hand her over to me. Matt and I were twins, but for some reason girls were more willing to go to bed with him. Monica didn't notice the swap that night which we spent together. The next morning she asked me if we would see each other again. I was like, wow, she liked me. We ended up getting married and it was a very modest <laughs> ceremony. Which Matt watched from the shadows. My fiancé couldn't know that I had a cold twin brother. Be patient. You don't want my marriage to end before it even starts. However, my relationship with Monica quickly lost its charm. The passion in her eyes was gone. And the evenings became boring, as if we had been married for decades. Monica went to work in the morning, and ominously asked about my plans for the day. She was being very snarky. She knew that I dreamed of becoming a video game developer. But companies weren't accepting my ideas. One night, Monica was taking a long time to get home. So I called her and heard something I was dreading. We'll be living apart for a while. It seems I was wrong about you. I have to think about what to do next. I was very upset and frantically started to think of a way to bring Monica home. I realized that the solution was to go to my brother and beg him for help. Please, do it again. Save my marriage. Luckily, my brother agreed. Although he warned me that it would be the last time. He told me to invite Monica to the same hotel where they met for the very first time and to leave the rest to him. I texted my wife, and she agreed. My brother approached Monica, and suddenly threw the bouquet into the trash. Sorry, these are not worthy of you. My wife was infatuated by the cheap trick. <laughs> she held out her hand and my brother led her to the hotel room. I sat in the hallway, just waiting for Matt to supposedly come out for some champagne, so we could do the swap. Suddenly, I heard weird sounds coming from inside. As it turned out, my wife was cheating on me with my brother. 
the nerve of them! I burst into the room and so Matt and Monica fully dressed watching an adult video with a sound at max volume. What? What is this bra? Matt explained that my wife figured everything out and suggested putting the video on. I wondered if you would come in after hearing these sounds. You know, to see if you had some dignity left. Monica told me that she wanted to be with me, but suggested that I should take some lessons from my brother. You have a wonderful brother. You should learn from him. I refused. After all, they did something very mean. Still, for some reason, none of the people I told this story supported me. Even if it seems that the Wheel of Fortune is against you, try to spin it. <laughs>